Uh, buenos días, señores y señoritas y señoras y otras y <laughs> muchachos y muchachos. Sa. Oh. <laughs> Sa. Su. <laughs> si. Oh. That's all the guests we're having on the program mm -hmm. today. Su, yeah. si, That one is so old, I'm ashamed of you for using it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Laban Johnson. I'm Larry Bly, and thank heavens you're the only one old enough to know that I'm embarrassed myself. <laughs> That's all I can say. We're going to Mexico today. We're going to a little Mexican flair. Yeah. That. I tried the recipe last night. That's a switch. Uh -huh. And it actually was delicious. Oh, uh, my well, sister and Tootsie really hit it the big time this time in Mexico City. Down there in Mexico, having mm -hmm. a good time. I hope they're not drinking the water. I know because although they've never age, been, <laughs> they've never been known to drink much water. Uh -huh, as you know. Just straight water, yes, anyway. Indeed. Well, our little tip for the day before we start, Mr. Blind. I didn't ask you for a tip. Well, you're going to get it whether you like it or not. <laughs> what are you giving me a tip for? What? I, do I look like I need a tip? Uh-huh. Yes, you do. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. right. As many as you can get. Mm -hmm. Don't freeze your spices. <laughs> Don't freeze your spices. Well, why? Yeah, Don't just know. say that. And if, let you're, if you're doing a highly flavorful dish, it's a good idea not to freeze it because In the other spices words, will either smell up the rest of your freezer or lose their savor. So what do you suggest? Not spicing before you freeze? That's right. And then do it thawing it out and sticking the cinnamon and mm -hmm. whatever in it. That's, That's why it. frozen pizzas sometimes are not so pleasant. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a big meal at my house this week and, yeah. I'm, and you're going to get something with sage in it because you love it so much. Well, great. Well, listen, we got a lot of stuff to cook up. Uh -huh. <laughs> or down. I've got other plans. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got a lot of stuff to cook up or down or whatever. And we have a special guest who has literally bought his way onto this show, proving right. that if you want on this program, <laughs> not even a little bit, you can get on it. We, we have uh, a, a gentleman that we're going to introduce right, right now. As a matter of fact, Mr. Kent Sublett, who is joining us on the program today. And either this is him or somebody is just standing on the set. Hi, how you Hi. doing? Nice. Welcome, welcome. How much uh, did we cost? A lot. A lot? <laughs> Do you think I'm not saying. Do you think it's worth it thus far? I mean, you've so stood far. here and watched us kind of sweat mm -hmm. our way into getting on the air. That in itself is funnier than the show sometimes. Yep. But anyway. He bought us on one of those um, TV auctions to help raise money for public television. You know, where they sell everything in the building so they can mm -hmm. raise some funds. And, but it is nice to know that we didn't go cheap. That's right. Did you, We're not do, cheap. do you appear on programs like this frequently? I mean, are you uh, like Is this appearing? a hobby of mine? Yeah. No. Uh, oh, this okay. is my first oh, time. Oh, okay. What are you, what are you into over there? Well, I was <laughs> drinking some milk, believe it or not. <laughs> Make sure and you I'm get a close up on this, folks. <laughs> this might be the only time you ever see this. I'm just mortified that somebody caught me drinking milk instead of the rusty water, but the rusty water has been bad on my pipes, so I switched off of it onto milk today. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, listen, I, I, I want you to go ahead and start All first because right. I'm just so nervous All right. about Well, Kent, now you need to help with this now. Okay. Th this is an ear of corn, yes. right? Now, you need to very carefully remove the large outer leaves and drop them down into this boiling cauldron of hot water. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, what? So here, you okay. help. Is that supposed to be boiling, Laban? No, no, no. It's just supposed to be hot, actually. Oh. Now, only we only need the really, really big ones. I believe if they're little. truth in advertising, you know. Just put them down in there. What we're going to make today, Dr. Bly, mm -hmm. we're going to make hot tamales. How am I doing? Oh, that's good. That's great. Well, that's thus far, great. it's pretty exciting, Kent. Mm -hmm. Oops, well, I was a little small, but... It's, well, it's really hard to Kent's picking get off these the off. small yeah. ones, the easy ones. He's leaving the big ones for who knows. And then, there we go. Oh, How many of those do you have to do? Oh, like? enough. <laughs> oh, well, we're, a smart answer on the recipe cheese. calls for, it calls for <laughs> uh, five ears of corn. Ah. There, okay. you can do that one. And uh, what we're going to buy, <laughs> uh, what we're going to do eventually is that these things are going to be the wrappers for the mixture that we're going to make up for our Couldn't you have just used tamales. cellophane or something? Uh-huh, uh -huh. we could have, but we didn't. Oh. Well, let's see, I think we've got enough there. Okay. Boy, it looks good, Laban, I can hardly wait. Uh-huh, mm. and it's gotta get down into the water mm -hmm. and cook for five minutes. Now, after we've got these in, and they're just softening up, now we've got to clean off our corn silks. Clean your silk. And oh, 
I, I just hate to do it over here on the floor <laughs> because they're so hard to get up. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. I can just uh, see the concern is just written all over your face, mm -hmm. Laban. This is my little corn brush. Uh huh. I thought I saw you use that earlier. No, I <laughs> better not talk about it. I, I know because I might have to use it on your mouth again. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you oh, used it on my mouth, it's ruined. Well, hey, that's real neat. Good close-up shot. Uh, Wrecked it. Here, you want to okay. use the brush? All right. Now, anyway, while Kent is uh, cleaning off the silks. Yeah, there's this Kent is, cleaning the silks. Now, you could cut. We've got to get the kernels off the cob. Now, you could use a knife to do this, but I do have a very lovely little corn uh, gadget here. Laban and, has a gadget for everything virtually that can be done. He even has a gadget for putting the stuff back on the cob. It's just incredible. Well, that thing works pretty good. Now, we never had fancy stuff like that where I grew up. They had uh, never even heard of that thing. Well, What's I, it called? It's called a corn cob remover. A corn no, cob remover? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> That's as stupid as that. There's ever. a corn cob here. You might want to dry it out and take it home with take you. Take it home. <laughs> Use it in that little building we uh -huh. got back there. Out back. All right. And you want to give it a good little scrape like this at the end so that you get all of the goodness and the the natural corn mm. juices out of it. Yes, and we'll indeed. Just throw that it away. looks real Did good. Did you get one? All right, yes. you can go ahead and do some more. Okay, there. I'd love to. And this thing, it, it really is, it's got a little serrated teeth and you just... Kent, watch. is that one of those attractive swatches you have on there? Actually, actually it is, yes. Well, the law, how fashionable. This is the first little bit of fashion we've had on this program in six years. Well, how about anybody that? that could afford us is bound to be able to well, afford... Well, that's right. Only the best. Well, now, I'm only going to do this... <laughs> <laughs> this much because what are you laughing th this recipe calls for a lot more of this mixture than we will need today. Actually, you should do all four or five ears of corn into a container. Kent, do you like Mexican food? Uh, I can live with it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's chose the wrong <laughs> program already. Where are our paper towels? What is your, here it is, Johnson, here. What is your favorite kind of food? Um, well... I like French He'll and Greek. Six hundred dollars if they can answer this. French, French and Greek. Yeah. Oh, that sounds real good. Mm. Now, Lair, while we're here, I'm going to add some sour cream to this. That's about mm, four tablespoons. Uh -huh. And we're also going to have a little bit of milk, and that's about a quarter of a cup of milk. And I think we'll put in some raisins. Excuse me, I have to drain my pimento. Oh, we'll go right ahead. <laughs> My pimento's been feeling drained. Lately. I wonder if everybody would like to watch. No, there's really nothing to see. I mean, you know, you drain one pimento, you drain them all. All right, there's some raisins. Now, oh, Kent, would you hand me the sugar sure. over there out of that blue and white bag? Kent, do you cook at home? Uh, on occasion, yes. I bet your mother is thrilled to death <laughs> about that. Now, you just mix this mi mixture up. Larry, you might want to go ahead and start yours while we're putting, getting this corn mixture together here. Okay. And uh, then we'll come back and show everybody how to put these together. Well, we're doing Mexican baked rice. And I tried some of this last night, and it really is fabulous. And not only that, but it's quite gorgeous. It's just a cornucopia, a veritable cornucopia of colors. Now what we start out with is about four cups of cooked rice, and I had to come in today and do it the hard way. I had to, I couldn't find any of my success rice. Oh. I didn't have much success finding any of it. So I had to go with this old fashioned, old fogey stuff, but you know it's real good stuff. About four cups of it. So I had to pre-cook it before we got on the air. I hope you'll forgive me, and we'll put that in there in a big mixing bowl because we're gonna mix a lot of other things in there. Now Kent, if you could just move up here and just okay. whip this stuff right in there. We're gonna go with uh, oh, about half a large uh, green pepper, which I've already chopped up, and I chopped it very large. This is gonna bake for about 30 minutes, so you can, you can chop it very, oh, how embarrassing. One of your onions got away from you. And some onions, one large onion. That's a little bit Whoop. more than they call for. Making a mess. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's all right, you're doing much better than we usually do here. We're Speak for yourself. I'm going to kind of toss that around in there just a little bit and put some additional salt and pepper in it. I, if I could find some additional salt and pepper to put in it. 
here is the salt, and there's the pepper. It's a miraculous miracle that we can find things after all this time. I think it's getting better here on the set, don't mm -hmm. you, Lehman? Much better. Except that the sift thing won't come open. How embarrassing. You kind of moved away there a little, <laughs> Kent. Well, any time. He's just a little nervous about being around the pepper. And a little bit of salt, just a tiny little bit. Just a little bit, because you're going to mix that up with, with all the rest of the stuff. Now, you combine everything, including a little cheese. I need for you to grate some cheese okay. for me, if you would be so kind. This is really great having somebody on the program. Oh, what a clever can, pun. Great, can do great. All of the work for you. And I just need for you to grate about a quarter of that, if you would be so kind. While he's doing that, I'm going to take one of these jars, which is one of the larger of the jars of pimento, which has been drained. And I'm also going to dump that in there, too. Now, you can also, if you don't want to use the pimento, you could use uh, a red pepper. I prefer the taste of, being that we have the green pepper in there, I kind of prefer the taste of the pimento with the pepper. So we're going to dump that in there. And we're going to mix that around just a little bit. How's that look? It's fabulous. Okay. Gorgeous. Just full of gorgeousness. Take about half your cheese. We'll show you how much in a little bit. Oh, here, over here. <laughs> she scared me. Anyway, uh, and, put, and mix that in with the mixture. All right, you'll have some cheese. You know what, Kent? I believe we need just a little bit more. All righty. Now, isn't that lovely? Can you see that startling overhead? Startling, look at that. Isn't that just full of gorgeousness? I'm telling you, let me get that ugly salt thing out of the way. You got green and red and, and your orange and your white. It is just beautiful. It really is. We're going to bake this just a little bit. All right. Now, if you would be so kind as to go ahead and grate a whole bunch more to go across right. the top of it, okay? Take your cheese and you grate up a couple of a couple of cans of, a couple of cans, <laughs> a couple of uh, cups of it, and only use half of it. Put half of it in there, and the, the rest you're going to put on top. Now, we also need a little, and I always have a little problem with this, Kent. Would you say that for me? I just no, I never knew it was correct. I just, I just want you to Worst, know that I'm... Worcestershire. Worcestershire. <laughs> can't hear it. Can't say it any better than I can. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Put some of that in there. Now, we're going to have some canned tomatoes, and we're going to put that on top. That's what we're saving the canned tomatoes for. And just a little bit of cayenne pepper. Just a pinch of it. Just a little bit of it. There you go. It's the right large pinch, I thought. How are you coming along, Ken? Is, you, uh, how old is this cheese? <laughs> this was just purchased <laughs> earlier today. It's a fine old... Is your, is your so this is falling apart. Now, I use very sharp cheese, and I'm glad that I did because I found that the very sharp cheese... Yeah, we're all glad. <laughs> Everyone's pleased. All right, now, we're going to grease a baking dish. Just grease it up a little bit. Not much exciting there to see. <laughs> and in a couple of minutes, when he gets finished playing with this cheese... You're doing all right, Ken? I'm doing you're, fine. You're doing just fine. It's a... Sort it's of little big blobs of it, but <laughs> <laughs> other than that, it's, it's pretty good. What is that? That's, I almost licked Crisco off my thumb. Hang on a second here. <laughs> Be very careful. Crisco when you're on my, my tongue. tongue. Well, while we're waiting for, for Kent to stop playing with the cheese, we're going to go back to Laban's department. Laban. What? What? I just want a little piece of cheese. I'll swear. Okay, back to Laban. Okay, Kent, if you'd just come on over here. Well, now, wait a minute. He hasn't finished my job. Well, oh, okay. wait a minute. I'll, I'll finish. He okay. me too. You, you go over. Hey, you know, you got to get your 80 bucks worth, all right? You know, whatever right. it costs. Now, with this knife, pick out three of these okay. and lay them down over here. Get three wide ones. This looks sort of like gang cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I've been gang cooked. <laughs> gang cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Well, okay, well, I'm not going to hurt. <laughs> All right, there we go. Mm -hmm. oh, God, so oh, oh, very oh, good. good. All right, All right. All right now. Pepper, salt, pepper, cayenne, Worcestershire sauce, grated cheese, tomato, and teaspoon of margarine. Oh. Now, Kent, what I want you to do, now, we have these three pieces mm -hmm. of 
of corn husk there. And now you're going to get a spoonful of the corn mixture. This is the corn, the sour cream, the sugar, and the raisins. Take, 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 take your time. Now here's some uh, string. Now wrap that up like a little gift. <laughs> this gives him a great opportunity to show off the watch. Mm -hmm. Do these hold it over? Or just uh -huh. okay. Yeah, it's just like a little present. And we're going to tie I it don't up. believe I've ever had a present like that. No, and you're not likely to <laughs> get one. If anybody ever gave me that, I'd throw it in their face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now you have to tie it up. Here's your string. Um. <laughs> Time is fun when you're having fun. <laughs> Can I turn it over? Uh -huh. Is that allowed? You sure. Oops, I'm losing it. We all have at one time or another. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've done a lot better than I Oh, no, you don't have to put a bow in it. Just make a knot. <laughs> Ta-da. Oh, look at that. And That's Johnson unbelievable. And Johnson told me earlier, he says, we'll get Kent to do it because I couldn't do it. Here, do uh, some. <laughs> so, I thoroughly you disgusted. Him, this is my new cooking partner on Cooking Sheep. We're sort of working late. Let me show you what I had to do yesterday. <laughs> Here are the ones that we had yesterday <laughs> at home. And... I finally got one to do it halfway, and I gave up on the others and wrapped them. I put a couple of corn husk in here and put them in aluminum foil. And, because after you do this, you have to steam them for an hour. Well, how are we going to do that? We only have 10 minutes Well, that's left, why I did uh, these living. up, and we're going to put them down in this oh, hot water here and let them uh, heat up left, a little bit. Because yeah. they're already cooked, and all we have to do is heat them up. And that's it. Those are our hot tamales. Well, that's real good, Laban. Such as it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, Kent. You managed to do something that the uh, the great one was I not able to it. pull that, off. That there. was amazing because I literally could not get those things to do right. Your fingers are too fat. Actually, the you reason, couldn't tie the bow. Actually, the reason is I got these Arthritis? little ears of corn. <laughs> no, that had already been pre, you know, partially pre-shucked by the uh, grocery store. And it would do much better if you got the ones that still had the huge outer leaves on them. That way you could wrap them up. You wouldn't have any trouble doing it that way. I had heard that he was getting arthritic. But anyway. Well, you can hear a lot. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. We're going to find the spoon. We oh, are. it's in here. Okay, now, what we're, now I have greased this up. And now we're going to pour the mixture of Worcestershire sauce and onions. Isn't that beautiful? It's just so lovely. L gorgeous, just full of gorgeousness. And we're going to take that and put it in there. I had some left over. I'll, I'll save that, leave that for the crew. They always enjoy eating so much. And next thing we're going to do, Kent, come over here. I'm okay. going to need some assistance momentarily. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take just a can of whole tomatoes and we're going to pour that over top and let the juice go down in there. You may not use all of it, but use what you can. And yesterday I just took a little time to sort of chop them in half a little bit. You don't have to do that, but I'm afraid that someone will cut down on one and squirt juice in someone's eye. Oh. You know, we live in such a <laughs> litigious society. Someone will sue you at the drop a of a terrible, tomato. Terrible thing to say. <laughs> it's true. All right, now, what we need to do now is to, to spread this cheese over the top of that. The cheese that you worked so, mm -hmm. so hard to do. Cheese all oh, over the top of boy, it. Boy, that looks good. And it is. You know it is. Now, what we have to do now, Kent, is we need to dot the top with some of this fine margarine, <laughs> which we, ha you know, periodically we get product on. And I need for you to take that and just put little okay. dots of it on. Now, if you can't do dots, you may want to do semicolons or perhaps uh, okay. or a comma or two. Or two. One time, baby. Now, I find it's best to, what you need to do is you need to get 
grip up on that knife a little bit, you're going to cut yourself all to pieces and just sort of. Let me show you something. <laughs> you're making this much more difficult. Okay. <laughs> than uh, needs now, to don't be. make fun I of see. the boy. He could have better than I, know. I could. He's, he's wonderful. I can tie, but I can't cut. He's butter. wonderful. He's a little slow <laughs> on butter. <laughs> Uh, well, can't cut the butter anymore. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is called dotting with butter. <laughs> you remember dot, don't you, Lady? Sounds like a. She was a good woman. Sounds like a TV show on our major competitor. She, <laughs> dotting with butter. I have to be very careful. I have a wonderful joke right, right here on the tip of my tongue that could get us thrown off the air, oh, please, literally. Don't. 350 degrees, this thing goes in uncovered, and all of that cheese melts, and the dotted butter just goes all over the place. Mm -hmm. and, mm, it's just a gooey mess. And it comes out in 30 minutes, and it is wonderful. It really is. In fact, we'll take one out momentarily, which Great. I, on the sly, slipped in as we were going on the air. You sly dog. Mm -hmm. yeah. I did. Well, while we're uh, waiting for that, why don't we uh, bring in Miss Witch to see I what the, the mail has She was today. flying around outside with one of those signs behind her. You know, she's taken to doing that to make some extra money. Like, yeah, uh, bring the old witch in. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> she is flying low today. Get out of here. She's made one final pass. I believe she has some new underwear. Anyway. Well, what? good grief. The picture on this thing looks like they're in the islands. Let's see what, what it says here. Dear boys, guess where we are? Hmm. Doesn't sister look cute in the grass skirt? <laughs> <laughs> Two old geezers offered to take us up to their room and smoke it. <laughs> we turned them down, but are meeting them for dinner and poi. <laughs> Poi. That's that nasty, That's that thing nasty you stuff. Get, Put your fingers yeah, yeah. in. Get it all over your face. Here pants. are a couple of recipes we picked up, just like the two old geezers. <laughs> <laughs> and what are they? Well, there's one on here called uh, a pineapple Betty. <laughs> pineapple Betty. I guess that's Where like an do apple these brown. Get this stuff? Uh, apple. And then I have one that I think I'll do because it looks so interesting called. Pineapple bye bye. <laughs> it, it appears to be some kind of ferocious drink. Next week we'll do that. Next week we we'll need do to Hawaiian show these people the, today's recipes because right. we let's, haven't got oh, them yeah. on yet. Well, let's do it. Mexican baked baked rice. Uh, four cups of cooked rice. Uh, half a cup of pimento or cooked red. Uh, half cup of finely diced onion. You got your green peppers, little salt, pepper, cayenne, and. Worcestershire sauce, grated cheese, canned tomatoes, two teaspoons of margarine. Mix that all up, bake it 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And for the hot tamales, you shuck five ears of corn, reserving the biggest leaves. Soak them in hot water for five minutes. Excuse then cut me. off and scrape the kernels from the uh, cobs. Uh, you add some uh, four tablespoons of uh, sour cream to the uh, corn and a quarter of a cup of milk and a tablespoon of sugar and then you uh, add a few raisins and you mix all that together and you make a nice little mixture out of it and put it a dab of that in the middle of the leaves, tie them up and steam them for an hour. And that's it. Well, let's get these things over here so we can give them a taste. Well, what did you do with my slotted spoon? Well, oh, I, there it is, right here there. in the pan. Well, you <laughs> He's getting so forgetful, just terribly forgetful. Let me just uh, put these out on the table. Kent, let's go over okay. to the table here and uh, <laughs> taste of this goodness. Well, Johnson, now you've done it. You've gone back and forth 15 times and you got us all tangled up. Oh, don't worry about it. There we go. Can we all get into our yes. assigned spots mm -hmm. here? All right. Now I'm going to right in my wrong place. Oh, I'm just going to switch with you. Okay. So that you don't have to have this. Give me your plate here, right. Kent, and we'll. You might want to dump the, some of this fine. the water out of it. <laughs> <laughs> some of this fine half-baked uh, stuff. I don't believe this oven's working up to par. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get into it or not. It's so hot. Let me just... <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, it certainly doesn't have a lot of water in it. I will say that. I'm just drowning in it over here. Let me give it a quick. Uh, mm. Tastes like corn pudding in a husk. It does. Corn pudding in a husk. <laughs> give this stuff a try and see what you think. This little rice frou frou stuff. Mmm. Oh, and if it was hot, it would be out of this mm, world. It would. <laughs> if it were just done, it would be wonderful. No, it has pretty good taste even it with really that. It really does. But the oven is not doing the job. Well, that's just about it. We've had so much. Kent, thanks a lot for Thank coming by. Thank you for having me on. We hope you had a lot of fun. I got did. your Put money a bit for us again next year. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Next year you can have the show <laughs> for 81. That's about it. Bye bye. If you're a fan of Cookin' Cheap and would like copies of the recipes, make a $60 pledge of support to Blue Ridge PBS, and we'll say thank you with the new Cookin' Cheap cookbook. This hardcover three-ring binder is chocked full of over 930 recipes that were presented on the show by Laban and Larry. In addition, you'll also receive instructions on how to download a digital copy of the cookbook to use on your favorite device. Pledge for your cookbook now at blueridgepbs.org or by calling 866-624-8366. Thank you.